And Grisano's, this is like the things he believes to be true, which later on with this Aaron Rodgers things, we know this to be true, what he's saying. Whenever you went to Indy this week, people were seemed pretty sure that Aaron Rodgers was going to stay in Green Bay for at least one more year, which it seems like even longer based on the contract he just signed literally hours ago. Comment down below your B on this, though. Would you rather see him leave the Green Bay Packers or stay with the Green Bay Packers? Jeremy Fowler, Jimmy Garoppolo. The wildest rumor I heard this week, quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo potentially pairing with New Orleans, which honestly is interesting. I feel like they'll probably keep a hold of Jameis Winston. He'll probably be their future quarterback for this year, at least once he's healthy. And I think that Jimmy Garoppolo, the most likely team he's probably going to go to is the Washington Commanders or maybe the Steelers, some team like that that needs a quarterback. I don't really see the New Orleans Saints really needing a quarterback, and I don't think they're going to sign him. Aaron Donald and the Rams are working on a new contract that could be done sooner than later, Jeremy Fowler, which of course they should do a new contract done sooner or later because he's one of the best defensive players of all time. Of course they're going to try to re-sign him. And this is honestly expected and a very good contract to sign. Mitchell Trubisky. Teams are openly discussing whether Trubisky gets $10 million or more annually on that new deal. Dan Grazino, which honestly, in my opinion, I don't really know if they should sign Mitchell Trubisky for a $10 million contract. I would say maybe 8 or maybe 7 I don't really know if he deserves $10 million right now. But I could definitely see a lot of teams wanting to sign Mitchell Trubisky still. I'm surprised he didn't get signed last season and was just a backup. But comment down below your opinion on this, though. Will Mitchell Trubisky finally get to prove himself outside of the Bears? Ante Adams. I do expect the Packers to franchise tag Adams by Thursday deadline. Dan Grazino, which is more likely now because they signed Aaron Rodgers. And it seems like... Signing him was the main reason he was going to stay again. So I think they're probably going to get the franchise tag. And I think he's probably going to make less money than he probably hoped to. But honestly, I think this is a good re-signing for the Green Bay Packers. Good news. Packers and Aaron Rodgers agreed to a four-year, $200 million contract with 153 guaranteed Ian Rappaport. This deal will make Aaron Rodgers the highest paid player in NFL history, which is honestly not that surprising. He definitely deserves to be the highest paid NFL player in NFL history. Just because the back-to-back -back MVPs he won this year and last year. Four-time MVP in general. And honestly, one of the best careers of all time. And he definitely deserves all the money that's coming to him. But honestly, I didn't think this was going to be the highest contract of all time. And I'm surprised no one else has gotten a higher contract than this. Comment down below your opinion on this, though. But there were rumors circulating earlier that his deal would definitely change the NFL.